Hey guys, I'm Roberto Lances. I'm here at the opening of Spring Awakening, our unplugged version here at the Powell Theater. Uh, this is something I've been wanting to do for such a long time, is to be involved in this play. I've auditioned so many times over the years, and I finally get an opportunity to do it, and it's been a blast so far. Uh, that's what you got, you guys, inside. And the Lord, and the Disappear, yeah. for Spring Awakening that's performed here at the Powell Theater in Vancouver. Um, so this is pretty much a little chaotic right now. We've just moved in, so we're going to kind of make our spots uh, prominent, I guess, between each other. Uh, so this is pretty much the men's side. Uh, and then uh, there's a little curtain here, red and blue, uh, for the ladies' side, so they have, kinda, they have their privacy, you know, when they're changing. I feel like it was one of those things where in training uh, at the school, it kind of prepared us all to um, leave the faculties, uh, leave the people uh, that have trained us for two years and, you know, kind of be able to approach any of the mediums that we have out there in Vancouver. Um, it's not just film and TV, right, because obviously there's theater here. Uh, there's a lot of uh, um, voiceover work too. Uh, so it's, it's been pretty great. Um, so I think New Image really did prepare us to audition for any of the uh, uh, outlets that we have here in Vancouver. <laughs> Like once through everything, and then I'll wait We did a lot of work in casting that uh, normally you do an open casting call and a lot of people come in. This time we did a lot of um, predetermining of who we were going to audition because of the need for having somebody be able to play instruments, um, sing, dance, and act. When we first cast Roberto, he walked into the audition room and he was immediately cast. We knew immediately who he was going to be and what we were going to do. He brings such intensity to the role. And I remember the first conversation I had with him about his character. He was so thoughtful in what he was bringing to the role, and it was so easy to work with him and touch beyond the shell of understanding the character and touching the person that the character was going to be. All the more so, I am afraid, says reading her essay. But you wrote about the female. I know Roberto is an absolute joy to work with. Uh, I've, I, it's really cool to see someone with a lot of discipline and a lot of uh, hard work behind everything. So don't you hide, Roberto! Don't you hide from your pride! Oh, well, Roberto is a great actor. I mean, the thing about him, we've been working on getting him to when he performs his songs, when he sings, he's an amazing singer and he's an amazing actor. But we, the, the thing that I've seen him grow the most is that he combines those two things. When he's singing, for example, he's performing the lyrics as though they're dialogue in the show, which is really what we wanted to get from the show. He's got the, the dancing, he's got the singing, he's got the acting. I mean, he's triple threat. He's got a lot on his shoulders with this show. There's a, like a two week period where he was sick. So we're all kind of worried about that, but you know, he even came sick and sweaty and gross and he pulled, pulled through. Yeah, he pulled through. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to him. Roberto was great to work with and is still great to work with because he's very enthusiastic. So seeing him tonight doing one of his favorite plays is probably a highlight for me because he he did the work and he went there and he was very honest and made me cry a little bit. Where I go, when I go there, no more listening anymore. Hands upon your lips, a mystic wisdom rising with them. 